Hi everyone, it's Marla Lee here. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. I am making this video today to talk to you guys about how to drum in an apartment complex. So um, I'm on a tour and I am in an apartment. So I never stay in apartments and um, I got in trouble drumming in this apartment from the neighbors and so I have been here for a few weeks and I have really put a lot of thought into how can I practice in an apartment and I have four ways that I have come up with how to do this and I'm going to share them with you so for those of you who live in apartments this is a great video for you to watch so number one you know you can recite the rhythms you don't always have to practice on a drum you can recite you can take a walk and recite the grooves and I actually find that when I recite the rhythms I play it better so even when I do have a drum in my hand I always recite first so number one is to recite the rhythm number two is use your body so you have this beautiful body and you can use it as an instrument so I find myself doing grooves on my body and if the neighbors complain about it come on they're not going to complain it's not that loud it doesn't resonate it's just you know nice so you can explore playing on your chest on your legs on your belly however you wish but the body you know I believe is our first instrument and so this is a great tool that you have with you at all times so join me let's just have a little body jam that's step two body drumming now the third way that I uh, found myself to enjoy practicing without actually drumming was to visualize myself drumming and I get inspired by this when I listen to incredible drummers. So when I'm listening to great drummers, especially frame drummers, I'm imagining what they're playing, right? So I'm imagining the strokes that they're playing and I'm imagining the rhythms and I'm visualizing it. And then I'll body percussion, I'll play along to what they're doing or I'll visualize myself playing along. Another way I like to practice this is to create my own rhythms and visualize myself playing it. Air drumming is great or if not, using your hands, just closing your eyes and just feeling the rhythms, reciting it and visualizing it. And then the fourth approach, which I found, which is my favorite. Now I have to be really careful with this because it can be loud. So you, you do have to be careful and cautious, but I think this is a way that we can also practice in an apartment. So you have a drum and then what you do is you take a blanket not a towel, because towels don't feel so good. So you take a blanket and you just put it over your drum just like this. And, and then you play. So, you know, it doesn't have the beautiful reverb or resonance that it would have without the uh, bl uh, blanket on, but it has, you know, you can at least get your groove on. really lightly. Let's play quietly. So there you have it, four ways that you guys can practice music in an apartment complex. Now this is not just for drummers, right? This is for other type of musicians as well, although I don't know how we would practice flute with a, a blanket over it. <laughs> but you know, just get creative, there is always a solution. Alright, thank you so much for watching and happy drumming.